What is happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chillin' here in the Ice Lounge. And today, you might want to cover your ears, folks, because her life is in all caps today. Well, our life is always in all caps, but I got probably the loudest guest I've ever had on the show. Y'all, show your love for variety streamer, Canadian extraordinaire. Y'all show your love for Miss Lulu, everybody. Yay! How you doing, Lulu? How you doing? I'm good. Podcast? How are you? Thank you for having me on your podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, uh, I know. Um, everybody's excited to see Lulu here. So, why don't for those who are who don't know who Lulu is, uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Lulu, to our audience? Okay. So, I guess I am a <laughs> I am a variety streamer. I claim to be a variety streamer, but I focus on just chatting. Um, I was the scream queen when I first started, but now that I actually moved and live in an apartment now where I have to be conscious of my volume, I am a really hyper, super chatty, JRPG slash just chatting streamer, and I'm Canadian. So yeah, that's like a, that's like a pretty, I guess, um, quick introduction about myself. No, I'm not, I'm not that loud. And she clearly proves that what she just said is wrong. Anyway, <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Not sure if you guys are aware, but uh, Lulu, I was Lulu uh, used to do a podcast on Spotify a couple years back. I was on it, and you know, so so I figured uh, I returned the favor by having her be on my podcast here today. I guess first off, first off, uh, what got you into streaming anyway? Well, I guess what got me into streaming was actually what stemmed from what was supposed to be youtube so um i guess just like with my personality and like all the little shenanigans that i do um as a person people were trying to like really convince me like you know what we i think you have the perfect personality to be on youtube and then um it like it came from like a class reunion where like people are trying to convince me like you know what with the way that you're eating and everything and like the way that you just like talk and like do whatever you should try mukbangs on youtube and they're like yeah you can make you can make money off it so i was like nah but then the entire class was just like no 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 i i would watch you and i'm like okay let's let's go start some youtube let's let's do it and then as I was like gathering equipment and like looking into what to buy for starting up a YouTube, I was like, wait, I don't know how to do any of this. I'm I'm not tech savvy. I don't, I was like, I don't know how to edit videos. And then one of my friends was just like, why are you, why are you doing this? Why don't you just go on to Twitch? Why don't you just str stream? You don't have to edit any videos if you're on Twitch. And then I'm like, huh? So, um, I was like, okay, let's give Twitch a try. So then I moved from starting a YouTube to transitioning onto Twitch. So technically that's how I started to, like, that's how I started streaming. So, Mukbang, hey, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to, like, instigate anything here, but the Mukbang thing, did someone suggest that because you're, because of, because you're Asian? No, <laughs> no, 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 it's just, I think they just thought it was perfect for me because they were like, the way you eat is so entertaining, like, I don't really care, like, I'm pretty disgusting and gross, like, when I'm eating and whatnot, so, um, I think they were just like, yeah, just do it. I got, <laughs> I got you. So, <laughs> I asked because a lot, a lot of the mukbang streams are, are seem, uh, the, um, the person doing it is primarily Asian, so I was oh, like, "Oh yeah, it's popular." So that's interesting. So you originally were gonna you're gonna be a YouTube streamer, and then you transitioned into Twitch. I'm curious. So um, if you had if you had kept going with YouTube, do you think like you would have the same the same community that you that you do on Twitch now? 
if you had if you had kept going the YouTube route? Mm, no. I think oh. I don't think so. I think if I were to do YouTube and just focus on food, you know what? I'll be honest, I don't know what kind of community I could have like curated if I were just to simply You know what? I'll be I don't trip about YouTube at all. I just um if it were Oh wow. This, like no, I don't think so because I feel as if on Twitch it's like people who share like the love of JRPGs, maybe they, they just like to like hear me yap for three hours or something like that versus like the one on food. Um, I feel like no, I I wouldn't have the same community at all. Yeah, maybe some crossover, but not really. Yeah, I mean you you still have the kind of person that uh I'll be honest with you. Um, so I think I first I first met you through uh Kerfuz. Um, actually, he came, he came to my stream, um, I think I was streaming Persona 5 Royal at the time, and then he said, Hey, I got a friend that loves JRPGs as well, and think you might like. I'm like, okay, okay, send me her way. And so, I think I rated you for the very first time, and that's how, and that's, that's how we met, and then the rest is, is pretty much history. I will say, when I first met you, like, I didn't know what, I completely did not know what to expect. Then I heard, then I I saw I heard all the scream, all the person, and everything. I remember that the first time I heard it, I remember the first time I heard it. I literally had to yank my uh my head, my headset off. I was like, oh oh my goodness, yo, yo, oh man. But it you know it's your it's it's who you are, Lulu, and 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 I'm sure I speak for a lot of uh people in the community that uh and say that we love you for it. So, Lulu, um, if I, I could be wrong on this, is your name derived, it, did you get your name from a Final Fantasy character? Or No! No! No, I did oh. not! A lot of people ask this question. They're like, are you Lulu? And then they see their re and they're like, oh my gosh, are you from Final Fantasy X? The two best characters in Final Fantasy X? Or like, you know, the two female characters in Final Fantasy X? And I'm like, no! I, I, it's actually um, a nickname from my actual, like, government name. So, no, it's not from Final Fantasy. Um, my best friend calls me Lulu. And then now, like, because I introduced, like, my best friend to everybody, now everybody else around me also calls me Lulu. So I'm like, okay, that's ah, where the name gotcha, originated gotcha. from. So now, now we got the Lulu out of the way, Riri. I guess, is that is there any significance to the Riri part? Or did it just, like, just something you, you just kind of made up, put together? Oh my gosh. Okay, so once again, this is also kind of derived from like my my like legal government name. So how I came about to become like Lulu Riri was because I didn't want people to find me on Facebook. Oh. So, what I did was I kind of just made like a dummy account where I just like, you know what? I'll just say my name is Lulu and then I'll just like throw this um, name together. So it kept like... I kept like two separate Facebooks, one for just like the general public and like coworkers or like like people who hire me and blah 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 versus like an actual private account where nobody like knows me except for like the people who I'm very 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 close with. So that's kind of what happened because um my original Facebook I had it since I was like in middle school and I had a lot of people who I did not know on there. Like if I were to actually look at my Facebook friends. I think the limit at the time, I think it's still the limit now, was like 5,000 friends on there. I think I hit like almost two to three K. So it was a lot of people who I literally did not know. Um, and I don't know how I grew to like, it, like social media wasn't really like something you wanted to like grow. Right. Like it's actually not Facebook. Right. Like it's just something there, but like um, just, I always like accepted pretty much all my friend requests including like bots and like some like weirdos and whatnot and it was too much for me to like actually go through and like filter like my list as to like who is actually someone who i know and someone who i don't know and then i just remembered like i was also very social then like very social so i met so many people it would always be like oh can i get your facebook or something so it's like yeah i told them my facebook but then like i never met them ever again and it's just like i posted like who i was hanging out with what i was eating back when facebook was like 
the number one social media for like you know um Forever. These people connecting and whatnot so i was like i don't want these people who i don't actually know knowing about my life so that's how i started a new one and then once again it was kind of just like a dummy account where it was not obvious who i was because i saw some of my other friends they changed uh they didn't make a separate dummy account but they changed their names on facebook into like louisa honey bomb or something like that where it's just like they don't want their employers to find them so i kind of like took inspiration of that where i was like okay i'll just make something really quick and um call myself lulu because my best friend calls me that and then Ruby just like off my last name and then bam that's how that name like kind of like came about and then i just stuck with it i, I couldn't think of anything else so then i just stuck with it yeah oh okay okay hey so hey ain't nothing wrong with that hey i mean on social media, I have two. I, I have two accounts myself. Honestly, I have mm -hmm. a, my Iceman Prime, and then I have a, per, a personal account for like you know work, uh, my IRL friends, and all, all that kind of stuff. I do the same thing, so I don't. I don't blame. I don't blame you in that one. And you know, these jobs like nowadays, these jobs we look at your social media. So that's mm -hmm. something. That's a that and especially for for my line of work, that's something that I can't. I can't have getting in the way, so I definitely understand where you're coming from, and especially uh, the, the abort is, privacy and boundaries are very important these days because you don't want to get doxxed or anything. Because you you won't, I don't know if you heard, but there was a recent story uh, over here where um, some young kid, some young crazy kid, flew from I think New York to Florida to the attempt to kill some to kill someone with a hammer over a game. This was this was pretty recent, so. Ooh. That's why you know. That's why I prefer keep your personal information, keep like your your personal one private, and then you know your public one. You know, like if you if you're like a content creator and got kind of stuff, have like a separate account for all that. So I definitely understand where you're coming from. But yeah, people are people are crazy out there, man. Let's get back to the uh, the pocket. Get back to the positive vibes here. I remember um, when we were. Um, when I was on your podcast a couple of years ago, which by the way, you guys can catch on, a, you can find it on Spotify. I think uh, one of the uh, conversations we had was, you know, the dad jokes. Where, cause I do, as you guys know, occasionally on my streams, I had to do, I had to do a lot of jet jokes uh, on stream re reference of, uh, you know, do some dad joke references and everything. So, Lulu, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but are you good at dad jokes? This is where I'm gonna crumble and fall. Oh you know, no! Last time, so, no, I don't have anything. The last time someone told me to tell a joke, I had to go Google it. Oh no! 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 Lulu <laughs> oh. <laughs> got jokes. Lulu, <laughs> um, 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 here. Let me. Let me. I'll say. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Let me save you here. Hey, Lulu, um, you like, you like, are you a fan of Italian dishes? Do you yeah. like it, any kind of thing? I don't know if you heard, but um, there was an Italian, there was an Italian chef that I, I do. And he made, he made, he used to make a lot of these dishes um around, around my neighborhood. Sadly, he popped, he passed away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, Lulu, Lulu what? was like, uh, oh, no, I get it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Lulu is naturally funny. Agreed. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you heard, Lulu. There was a, I don't know, in your part of Canada, I heard there was a kidnapping. You didn't, you didn't hear about that? It was, it was, I, it was all over the Google, it was all over the internet, all over the news and everything. I, I don't know what's going on in the world. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Well, I'll tell you right now, Lulu, Lulu, he's good now. Oh, he, he's all right now. He woke up. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 
surprised if it was a kidnapping. Like that that doesn't seem very like out there. But I was like, I made news. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Lula lives in a house with her dog named Bella. <laughs> Oh, is that is that true? You have a dog named no, Bella? No, don't. Whatever Yerby Derby says, do not, do not believe that Yerby Derby is a troll. You, I see it. I see oh, it. Oh, oh, now, now the chat has become dad joke central. I wonder why the first one was getting bigger than it hit me. Uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ice Iceman Lulu Comedy Hour. <laughs> Comedy Hour. But Lulu, yeah, you are you are natural. You are really naturally funny. I think I still remember. Um, I still remember that one time you were playing. I think it was Resident Evil or something. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember which one it was. And I remember. I remember you. <laughs> I remember you getting so scared that you literally like race quit the game. Oh man, <laughs> your reaction was gold. So, Lulu, um, I know th this isn't. I know uh, at the beginning you had such a you have a loud personality and you and, and you still do. Mm -hmm. So like, how did this loud personality came come to be? Is this something that kind of came naturally, or you know? Hmm. Well, I'm loud naturally IRL. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I was always loud, and people like when I played with my friends and everything, they would always be like, "Holy crap!" Like. Is she okay? Like, parents would check up on me because I'd be, like, playing Tig downstairs in the basement. And then they're like, I hear someone screaming! And it's just like, oh no, it's just her. It's just her. She's just, like, screaming because, like, I don't know. And then, like, I naturally, I feel as if, especially when I'm passionate or when I'm excited, I talk really loud. And then people are just like, oh my god, like, um, like, why are you yelling? And I'm just like, no, I'm not yelling. I'm just talking. Like, my coworkers would say that to me. They'll be like, why are you yelling? And I'm like, I'm just talking loud. So, like, on stream, even though I will admit sometimes, um, especially when I first started streaming, when I was, like, in my house alone, like, no one... Okay, I don't know if no one could hear me, but, like, at least I don't think anyone in my house could hear me. I mean, neighbors, I'm pretty sure couldn't hear me. Or else the cops sort of came, like, a long time ago. But, um... Yeah, so, like... Oh, yeah. Um, my stream times were, like, so nice because, like, I was all, like, home alone and everything, so I wasn't scared to, like, disrupt others, and I just kind of let my voice, like, naturally, like, get as loud as it could get. Um... Especially because, like, in the beginning, I think I played a lot of... I played a lot of Among Us. So it's just, like, when people are accusing each other, so I'd be, like, really passionate about, like, No! You're sus! Don't tell me otherwise! You are the... <laughs> you are the imposter! And I kept screaming! And then, um, it kind of... Uh, that was, like, the Among Us and the Phasmophobia days when, like, Phasmo first released, and then everyone was playing Phasmo, like... I got really loud then, so that's how the loudness kind of just like was introduced, and then it kind of just stuck. Um, especially with the like the games I was playing at the time. Like now, I only play JRPGs, but now uh, back then I was like, you know, playing horror games. I was playing community games, um, and. Yeah, people people would try to like um, play games with me in order to like get me to like scream and everything because it was just content for them. They thought it was so funny, and then I was like, I think it's funny too. But like, yeah, <laughs> yep, that's how the loud personality came about. It's naturally me offline, but on stream. Um, if you go back to me like for, first starting streaming like three to four years ago, that was a little bit more amplified. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm just naturally loud. I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised you uh you survived phasmophobia, cause huh, I I don't I am a big chicken when it comes to horror games. I uh I streamed phasmophobia a few times, and I will be always the person that be like, yeah, y'all can y'all go. I'll stay in the truck. <laughs> yeah, that's me too, me too, me too. But even in the truck, I still scream. Mm. <laughs> see, see, Lulu, you you understand me. You you understand me, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Lulu like when it gets the... too much, just go back into the truck, and then you're perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lulu probably has a humongous social battery. I, I'm willing to bet. 
Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. Now I'm just like, I just want to stay home and play games on my projector and just sit in my bed. Oh, you got a projector? Ballin'. Yeah. I, I was playing Persona last night on it when I got home from work. So I was like, I'm Ooh. just going to kill. Pers the uh, three reload? Yes. Yes. Persona yes. reload. Yes. 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 So um, you've played you've played all the Persona well, all the Persona games three and beyond, right? Yes. You know, as a fellow Persona fan, I have to ask this quick. I have to ask these two questions. Okay. First of all, which one's your favorite? Or which one did you have the most? This one did you enjoy the most? Mmm. Okay. I. Good question. Good question. I think Persona three is actually story wise, like game wise. I think Persona three is. Mm. The best one. We talk about OG or the reload or both. Uh, I'm having more fun in the reload right now because uh, yeah, it's like all nice and polished up and like yeah, you can rewind and stuff. So all the new functions, I'm like, oh man, this is perfect. Oh, I, I, for so I completely forgot time. that you could do that in, in that game. I I don't even think I've ever used the I don't think I've ever used the rewind function even once in that game. Oh. It's useful because sometimes I like to be like, you know what? I'm going to redo this. So it saves me so much time. Exactly. I did not know you could do. I not. I completely forgot about that. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But yes, different recommend you guys get play play reload. Here's the most important question. Who is the best husbando? <laughs> In any of the persona games or is it going to be tied to one game? Any of them. Okay, so I think Akihiko from Persona 3. It's a tie between Akihiko from Persona 3 and Shinji from Persona 3. I think Akihiko would be my go to. Yeah, Akihiko. So you you know, the guy, the uh, the boxer, the boxer who, who loves, who old, the protein filled boxer who loves to like, he loves to see the challenge in, in everything. Mm -hmm. I feel you on that. So you know, he'd be like, he'd be like, like, he'd be like, if Lulu's in trouble, he he he'd be my protector. He'd be your protector and everything, right? Yes. Pretty much. Yes. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, how far are you in reload? I just what did I do last night? I think I just got Fuka, and I just oh, got damn. to the point where I maxed out the top floor in Tartarus. So it's pretty much right after. Um, getting Fuka and learning about the, the theurgy or whatever that theurgy. New thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, dang. Okay. Then was I don't want to say I don't want to go any further because uh, was about to say it's a spoiler. So I'll, okay. I'll I'll, I'll uh, keep that to myself. I know right now you're streaming the Final Fantasy, I believe, right? I don't remember which one, but. It's okay. I've streamed a lot of Final Fantasies within like the past month. I don't even know what game I'm streaming right now. I know uh, you're a, you're a big Final Fantasy stan. I think. Yep. I hope. Uh, unless, because if 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 not if not, then I must be talking to the, to the long Lulu. No. Anyway, what would you say is is the most is your favorite thing about the Final Fantasy games in general? Oh my god, my favorite thing about the Final Fantasy games. Oh. Um, let's see. That's a difficult one. I was going to say the gameplay, but then that's like pretty much any turn-based gameplay. Um I mean, you could it could be like, you know, maybe the lore, the characters, the different personality, you know. Doesn't have to, you know. It doesn't have to be the gameplay. I just yeah, figure I, I guess ask. like the stories, just because like I don't. Yeah, the stories they they really stand out to me. Yeah, I haven't really. Yeah, the Final Fantasy stories they kind of generally up to a certain um, series, like point in the series where they follow the same like pattern kind of with like the, the lore, and then from seven and beyond, it's like kind of breaks away from that but kind of still keeps like the general idea the same if you really think about it but yeah the stories um with the, every single game they're they're really captivating the only final fantasies I, i've played is remake and i've been playing i've played rebirth that's 
about as far as oh. my Final Fantasy knowledge goes. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. So this is gonna be um this might be a bit of a difficult question, but um okay. Lulu, um you know, as a uh, as a female in the uh, content creation space, there you know there is a lot of things that female content creators have to, have to uh to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. So my question to you would be: first of all, as a male content creator, as 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 a, a male, I try. There's a lot of things I try to avoid. I try to you know avoid at making female. Female content, I watch uncomfortable and everything. So, my question would be: What are some actions that we may, that us males may think will, will, will make you comfortable, but at, are actually doing the opposite? You know, like, 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 like we're inadvertently making things awkward. I guess that. Did, did, did my question make sense? Hmm. <laughs> Now I feel as if we're gonna go on a little bit of a tan like a tangent over here. Um, I guess like it kind of depends. Um, I just this is my opinion. Um, mm, I don't want to set any dangerous precedents. Like, there's sometimes like a line between like I don't know like another streamer or like just a viewer, but like uh, maybe some when people like come into like. Well, this is just something I really struggled with is when people come into like DMs and they're like saying things that I don't, I wouldn't really know how to respond to. Maybe they're just like complimenting like my appearances or something like that. And then it oh, kind of yeah. like gets, um, it yeah, go, maybe overboard. they're doing something like that. Gotcha. Um, or like maybe they're trying to like talk to me on like a further level where it's just like, I don't want to. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't know who you are. Um, uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of obvious sometimes, especially like if they're like a new chatter, and then like immediately they're like hitting, trying to hit me up in the DMs, and then I actually, for a, a period of time, like I actually block DMs, and I'm like, I, I'm not gonna respond to this, and like, um, yeah, it's kind of so, something like that, and then it's a little bit different when it's another streamer, but like. I don't know how to like phrase this in a way that yeah I don't know how to phrase this properly but it's all good uh when I I guess like at one point like is it okay like I know more about this streamer like I know at least like you know like collaborations like me and you like I know mm -hmm. like what you like who you are like maybe you have a webcam so I can like um see who you are um I can hear your voice where like I know how I know how like old you are, so I know like I'm not talking to like a freaking eleven year old on the right, internet. Right, 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 right. So it's stuff like that. I think at that point, if I know you are a streamer and I'm familiar with you, um, like at that point, I am okay, uh, especially spending more time in like each other's streams or however, however it is that um, you get to like know another person. Um, like I think that's okay, but it's just like. The first impressions where it's just like i don't i i don't know who you are behind this name and like this screen so it's kind of just like i'm just i don't want to be mean like i don't want to be mean but like right, i just right. don't know so you. you like so you look kind of, so you like to like you know get their you like to get their vibe uh, and, and like try to try and develop and let let it develop before you uh before you take before you take it a step further Honestly. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure there have been children who have tried to message me because the things that they were, like, saying, even in, like, my general Discord, they were very... I thought it was a kid just because due to the nature of the question where it's like, I need help with my math right. homework. And that's, like, mm -hmm. algebra or, or, like, something from, like, pre... Like, middle school. So, so I'm like, I don't know how old this person is. And, like, I just remembered, like, one particular... Per uh, one particular view where I can't... Mm -hmm. I don't remember their, I don't remember their names, but like even years later when they stopped, um, um, showing up to my streams, they were still messaging me like, up until last year. The most recent mess was last year where they were like, "Are you my loud queen?" And I'm like, "What the hell?" Ooh, and like I didn't reply to it. That's creepy. And they were like, Ooh, "Are you? What? Are you?" And I'm like, "Okay, I'm just gonna ignore this." And then they kept 
they kept going where like every single like couple of months like still sent me messages like how how's my loud queen doing and i'm like loud oh god that's <laughs> that's pretty oh, yeah. cringy oh damn yeah wow i don't know i i think they were just i think they were like a middle school student or something i i don't know but then other people was like you never know you'll be surprised at how you'll mm. be surprised okay lulu mm. and i'm like oh, okay okay so back back to the uh back to the topic you know the other question i have i have for you and give me give me your opinion on this hey would you agree that the gap between male and female streamers in the twitch space has gotten narrower in other words it's there's like i because me personally i feel like there are now almost almost near equal amounts of ma male and female streamers in the in the content in the uh streaming space especially on twitch would you would you agree with me with that oh man i think i think once again this depends so if you are a small streamer or a large streamer because in the large mm. For the big streamers, there is only like a handful of female streamers who are actually at like the top. Um, but I would say in the small streaming space, um, it has, I guess, fifth, like leveled out a little bit. But like, for mm. the larger one, no, I think there's a huge gap still. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I I agree, a hundred a hundred percent. I mean, some of the top. Some of the, um, you know, some like the bigger, big, 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 big names are still like male, but mm -hmm. at least, um, at least, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of uh, other female streamers getting partnered on Twitch and everything. So at least I feel like the gap, at least in that aspect is narrowing mm -hmm. just a bit, but you know, there's still a lot of, you know, there's still a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, work to do and everything. Women can go quicker, but men have the higher ceiling to hit. Exactly. Uh, CFG has a question for you. He asks, what is one underrated RPG that you love? Ooh, Legend of one. Dragoon! Oh my god, Legend of Dragoon! I like, no one, okay, everyone knows Final Fantasy. Everyone knows, like, the Tales game. Everyone knows Kingdom Hearts. Everyone knows Persona. But, like, Legend of Dragoon is, like, a PS1 classic. I... I wish they would remake it. I wish they would port it over so, like, I don't have to treasure my physical copy for, like, ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But, like, Legend of Dragoon, it's just, it's amazing in every single way. I have, I have, again, I have heard lots and lots of good things about that game. I believe it's on PS Plus Premium, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh. Yeah, I think so. But, yes, um, I've, I've been, I have heard so many good people, like, harp on that game. It's that and um, Skies of Arcadia, for that that came out on the GameCube all those years ago. That like it's like super super rare now. So, those are like those are, like the two under those like like the two big underrated games that I've that I've heard of. Ooh, Luf asked an interesting question here. He asked if you could live in an alternate world from any form of media, which would it be? Hey, Aloof, can you specify that question a, a little bit more? When you say in an alternate world from any form of media, are you are you asking like what form of media or can you specify that? Which universe? Oh, okay. Thanks. Which universe would you like to live in? Okay. You know, oh my God, Final Fantasy VIII. I think it's so cool. Final Fantasy VIII. Damn, I like how Lulu did not hesitate on that. Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Man, she was, she was like, Final Fantasy VIII! I want, that is the one, the, the, my, my dream place, the place for me! <laughs> I want to go to one of those gardens and go to school there. Train me into the combat and deploy me all over the world. I assume that's your favorite Final Fantasy of all time. Well, my personal favorite. I know people hate it, but like, um, a lot of people don't like it. But for me, I don't know. Something about like the uniform. I don't know, like the the school, like the uniforms, and like I'm like, this is so cool. I want to go to school here. But then if you if you actually think about it, it's like they're basically child 
teenagers. So I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, you're right. You're right, they are. Because like there's they're like teenagers and younger and children. So I'm like, oh, you're right. Um, hmm. Oh, CFG <laughs> says, I don't know if I would trust a teenager to be a leader in the military. I see he's talking about Final Fantasy VIII. Yep, facts. Facts right ah, over there. Got you, got you. I have not, I have not played FF8, so all, all, all this is pretty new. All this is pretty new to me. Mm -hmm. But I probably, I probably wouldn't either. Honestly, I probably wouldn't either. I have one last question, and then we'll, we'll go to everyone's favorite part of the podcast. And I always ask this to all my guests: for someone who is thinking about getting into streaming or content creating, based on your spirit, your experience. What is one piece of advice that you will give to someone who's thinking about getting into the space? I'm gonna get canceled. Uh oh. I'm gonna get the first thing that came to my mind. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get canceled for saying it. Um, it's kind of a more neg, <laughs> kind of a more negative thing. Um, like if you're thinking about doing it, definitely by all means try it out. But don't have the expectations that you're going to get rich and famous from it. I would say I would say that. Just don't don't have expectations. Do it. Try it out. But don't have certain expectations because the world gave you certain expectations. If that makes sense. Because it's not. Um, I feel like a lot of people who tried streaming, especially uh what they perceive what they see from other people once again that's how i got onto twitch because they were like you know you should do a youtube you'll get you'll get super rich and famous off it blah 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 blah, blah. and then i'm like yeah i'll do it and then especially not for like a platform like twitch where it's like ev everyone is like especially since COVID, everyone became a streamer um right it's not as lucrative as people have an expectation people see figures like pokimane or like i don't know xqc or something like that don't go in with the expectation you're going to do that because that is a very 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 0.0000001 of like the content creator space try, try try definitely try it out like it is so much fun you're gonna meet so many people you're going to um learn a lot of things um it, it is a huge curve to like get into and like, like learn but um yeah just just i guess don't have certain expectations if that makes sense it's, it's not as yeah, easy yeah, yeah, as yeah. people think oh yeah. no oh no that's some that's some pretty damn good advice wouldn't, wouldn't y'all agree oh we have another question from uh, Luth. Favorite animal? Okay, simple enough. I love dogs. I love Shiba Inus. I love Corgis. I love Pomeranians. I just love dogs. Whenever I see a dog walking down the street, I want to. I know I shouldn't do it, but I'm like, give me your dog. Let me pet it. Let me. Let me just like cuddle it a little bit. Let me like uh, hug it and everything. I just. I love dogs. Ooh. Okay, Luth. Drake or Kendrick? Uh -oh. Okay, so here's the problem. Uh -oh. Here's the problem. Hold on, we got. I actually don't know what the drama is between those two, so I can't even answer the question. That's that's how much I'm in a little bubble. Like honestly, that's how that's how much internet I don't can the wrong type of internet I don't consume. Like I know this is a huge thing. Like what was it two to three weeks ago? I know nothing. You're Canadian. Oh, wow. Should I know him? Wait, wait, did I have, wait. Because Drake, is, Drake is a, Drake's from Canada. Oh. Drake is Canadian. <laughs> I don't actually know what happened between them. I just know that there was a huge quarrel and like, it was like trending. <laughs> Choose your kid, you traitor. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's time to get to the part of the, the podcast where... The roles are now switched, so Lulu's now the host. I'm now the guest, and Lulu, as I, I'm preparing for this podcast, I said you can ask me one question. So, Miss mm -hmm. Lulu, the floor is yours. Okay. Well, Iceman, thank you for having me on your stream, on your podcast. Oh, of course, no, no problem, no problem. You knew I, I had to return the favor after I was on your podcast all those years ago and had a good time. So my question for you is, 
if you had one dish to be your signature dish that you show to Gordon Ramsay, what would it be? Ah, so we're getting into the, so Lulu knows I like to do some cooking streams you know, here and there. Hey, it would be my ultra famous, well, okay, not ultra famous, but my seven layered lasagna. Oh. So I make it with, so the layers, it's, I have, it's bacon, ground, like ground, ground steak, then ricotta, part, part skim ricotta, by the way, onion, that, and then that's one layer. And then in the second layer, it's a uh, chicken, Italian sausage, pepperoni. Ooh. In the second layer. And then I top it, and then I top it with a, uh, I top it with a uh, part, part skim, part skim, mozzarella, and provolone. And, and, and spread a little, and after it's done, spread a little, a uh, part palsy on top of it. Okay. That would be, that would be the dish I would show uh, Ram, Ramsey. I know it's oh, a, okay. it's, it's a lot of meats and everything because you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm like Akihiko. I'm a protein, I'm a protein junkie. So I gotta have a, a lot, of, a lot of meat. I got a lot of, a lot of meats in my uh, dishes. So that sounds so good. I'm getting so hungry just thinking oh, about it. Oh man, <laughs> shoot! I could cook you. I'll cook you one one day and have it shipped, shipped, uh, tipped to you over there in Canada. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Well, all right, good people. That will do it for our podcast. So again, big, big shout out to Miss <laughs> Lulu here for being such an awesome guest and everything. And with that said, that's going to do it for the stream. Um, if you guys want to watch any of my previous podcasts, you can um, you can go to my YouTube link, Exclamation Mark YouTube. Which have all the past episodes up up to um, up to uh, this point, and if you can help help me get help me get the two hundred subscribers, I am literally two subs away from two hundred. So I would appreciate it if you can help me help me uh, get the two hundred subscribers. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. With that, I will see you guys back here next Saturday. So until then, my name is Ice Bear. That's Lulu, and we. Signing out.